What's going on? Go take a seat. I know what I'm doing. A plane crash, a fight for survival. Ryan's new movie, Prey, is man versus wild on steroids. The plane goes down in a reserve for big game in Africa, and no one knows you're there. It's terrifying. You know, and, and none of these people are prepared to deal with it. You know, none of them are, you know, action, you know, hunters or, or fighters necessarily. And, and, and so it, I thought it was a very easy one to, to connect with on a visceral level, just from the idea alone. People are dying. We need a plan. In the survival thriller, Ryan is a missionary who gets stranded in the Kalahari Desert with his girlfriend, played by Mina Suvari. You worked with an amazing cast as well. Mina plays your wife. What was that like interacting with them? Because it's only about five of you guys. Yeah, yeah. Six. Initially, and, and then people start kind of falling by the wayside. Uh, not everyone makes it. Um, Mina, I knew a little bit. We were in a movie at very early in our careers. We had no scenes together, but we were in the same movie when we were about 19 years old. Buzz off, twerp. And I really hadn't seen her since then. So it's almost 30 years later. Um, and she was great. She really feels legitimate in regards to the, this missionary woman who we had decided changed my character's life. Oh, you're alive. And after 30 years in showbiz, it looks like the two kids Ryan shares with Reese Witherspoon are following in mom and dad's Hollywood footsteps. Is Ava into acting as well? She is. She's sort of getting her feet wet, you know? She, she's taking time to kind of figure out exactly what it is she wants to do. I think naturally, you know, that's what always annoys me about this whole nepotism talk with the industry. You know, so many people grow up and end up doing what their parents do, you know, to some degree or another. Or, or maybe at least trying, you know, whether that's a trade. I've got, so I've come from a really blue collar family and so many of my family members whose dads were, my cousins whose dad was an electrician, guess what they became, you know? It's like, to me, it's, I, I always get offended for the children of actors um, and, and entertainers when people bring that up because yeah, of course, that's what they've grown up around. By the way, that familiarity you know, makes them handle some of what is hard about this industry. You know, there's a lot of, uh, you gotta have a thick skin. There's so much rejection and there's so many nasty things that can be said about you. It's not all celebration. These kids have grown up watching on set with Reese or with me. It seems natural, I think, you know. And I believe Deacon is here in New York. Mm. He also has this music career. How proud are you? Oh, insanely, insanely. He makes me proud every single day of his life, just in regards to the young man he's become, to how he operates within the world. He's just such a source of light and love, and he's very solid and spiritual. He's got an incredible work ethic. I mean, obviously I love all three of my kids. Deacon and I are particularly close because we have so much in common. We like all the same things, same music, same sense of humor. Um, and he may be joining me on this series and, and playing uh, my character's brother in the flashbacks. So I'm kind of excited about that, that possibly happening. He's really evolving as a musician. He's put out a lot of really good stuff at a young age and I'm excited to see what the future holds for him. And I just feel the world is lucky to have him. What would you call this chapter in your life? Well, this chapter is really about spiritual growth. I'm sort of segueing into other business realms, really into the restaurant thing. I'm working on opening a hotel within the next year. So I, I will um, always be open to working as an actor, but it's becoming less and less a, a solitary focus. Also, you managed to somehow remain the same and look ageless. <laughs> <laughs>